I was listening to Alan Watts the other day and he says that uh, there's a story that he normally shares of an astronaut who went up into space. So on his way back, he gets asked the question to say, on your way there, did you go to heaven and what did you see? He said, yes, I did. In heaven, I saw, I met with God and she is black. Uh, what an inspired way of looking at things. How different uh, things would be if that were to be the status quo. Uh, he says, instead of saying the All Father, uh, we should be saying the All Mother, uh, how things would be different. And I think it speaks about uh, the importance of women uh, and how sometimes we take that for granted and how sometimes we take that lightly. So it's a different way of looking at things. And I hope that in Women's Month, now that it's being August and all, that we can start looking at things in a different way as well. Uh, to start questioning how we see women, to start questioning how we look at women, uh, if whether or not we give them the necessary respect and we give them the necessary uh, platform that they need. Uh, so in the next video, in fact, uh, it is Women's Month, so I decided to take the time to go out to the place called the Freedom Park in Pretoria to actually take the time to celebrate women, uh, to look at how they contributed in our society. So it's a very brilliant piece uh, that I've put together uh, for, your, for, you, for you guys uh, to know where we come from and to know where we're going as a country. So I really do hope that you enjoy. Our tour guide, who's named Gift, took us to the amphitheater. This is where he explained to us what the water theme stood for at the park. Before a woman gives birth, her waters must break first. So that is the context at which the different water features that you see at Freedom Park um, are presented. You know, we use water for baptism, we use water for cleansing and purification. Uh, in other traditions, we drink blessed water to heal against our, our ailments. So, water is life, water is birth. I do recommend that you visit the park to really get the full experience because unfortunately we couldn't share everything. See, in order for us to truly understand what women went through, we had to push through the barriers to dig deep in order to understand how women made their contributions the month of August, um, it is the month that is dedicated um, to, to women. There are already two um, female figures that are featured um, in our gallery of leaders. Over there we have Lillian Ngoyi, we also have Helen Joseph. Uh, the two women that you see here were prominent women uh, rights activists. Um, Helen Joseph and Lillian Ngui and other women uh, spearheaded the women's anti pass march to the Union buildings on the 9th of August um, in 1956. Um, Lillian Ngui was the first woman to be in the National Executive Council of, of the ANC and she was once the president of the ANC Women's League. Um, Helen, uh, Lillian Goyi died in 1980 whilst she was under house arrest. And Helen Joseph, a very good friend of uh, Lillian Goyi, um, they led the march together in 1956, but Helen Joseph also played an important role in taking care of children whose parents were in prison because Helen Joseph was a social worker uh, by profession and Helen Joseph was the first white person to be buried in Soweto because she chose to be buried next to her friend um, Lillian Boy. She now, looking at the stories of Ulili and Goyi, looking at the stories of Helen Susman and, and, and the role that they played in the struggle in liberating women in South Africa and speaking for women's rights and um, putting their lives at risk uh, and really, you know, driving the message to say that women should be free, uh, women should be in, in, the forf in the forefront of the discussion uh, of liberation as well and they shouldn't, uh, the history books, shouldn't omit uh, 
the work that they've put in. Uh, so for me, it's important that as women, uh, women understand uh, the role that those women played. Because for me, uh, you really don't understand the plight of women if you don't understand the role that Lillian Goy played and Helen Susman played. Uh, and the idea of not really only being black people who were at the forefront, but uh, you know, different races coming together and really fighting uh, for a good cause. Um, we've now just recently celebrated Banyana Banyana's victory in Africa. Um, for me, you don't really understand that journey if you don't understand uh, the journey of Portia Mundise, uh, what she had to endure, what she went through in trying to push uh, um, you know, the, the plight of women in our country and for women to be taken seriously. Uh, if you don't take, if you don't understand the plight of Amanda Lamini and, and what she went through as well, uh, you know, with women's football. So, so for me, you have to understand what these women went through in order for, for you as a woman to celebrate where you are. A generation which ignores its history has no past. And one can further argue that it's difficult to invest in a future in that sense. Stuff like that. Yeah. Women actually faced a lot of um, uh, problems because yeah. now they were on their own and they had to also give information as to where are their husbands, when are they returning yeah, and so forth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that is the, they were using. So they played um, a very important role and they remained strong. Yeah. 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 So, right. so it's, yeah. So it's, uh, you cannot separate women from our, 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 our struggle, never. Our short journey now took us down the winding steps into an area where they call the wall of names. This is an area particularly where each and every one who contributed to the struggle, you'd find that their names are engraved in this wall of names. Again, you'd find that we couldn't share with you the entire experience. You'd have to be there in order for you to experience it for yourself. Um, our wall of names um, doesn't honor on the basis of gender or on the basis of color, but we honor on the basis of, uh, I mean, of merit, of contribution, of whatever that you you have contributed to to the struggle. Cause We've spoken about so many issues. We've spoken about the importance of women. Um, we, we normally take it for granted to say that there were women involved in the struggle as well. Um, they weren't maybe in the front line fighting, but they did other things to support those struggles. But now that it's Women's Month, can you maybe just shortly just have a, a one minute or so or less uh, message to the women out there who are celebrating Women's Month? What would you say to, 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 to the women there? Okay, um, to all the women um, listening to this, um, you are fortunate um, to be a woman. Uh, women are life carriers. Uh, I also come uh, from a woman, uh, but this entire month uh, is dedicated to, uh, to you women, especially South African women. Um, for the role that we have played, um, you know, in different uh, 
communities, uh, different avenues, uh, even when the men uh, are away uh, to fight for the liberation, you are the people that remain behind, uh, defend and protect the families. Even when the men left the rural areas to come and work in the mines, you kept uh, the families um, alive. So. Uh, big up yourselves, uh, 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 women. Uh. And I think it's just unfortunate, uh, you know, there's so much that I want to share, there's so much that I want to talk about, uh, but it's so difficult uh, uh, because there's importance in understanding a woman's perspective uh, and really hearing what women have to say this regard so maybe in the next coming week or so uh, I'll take the time to really sit down uh, with a lady that's really uh, pushing and really uh, you know pushing the conversation um, of women forward so uh, do stay tuned for that interview uh, so in the next coming weeks definitely we will sit down with someone and we will really get to understand uh, that perspective because for me it's really important to take both sides and to really push the conversation forward so that is the time that we had for this week i really do hope that you enjoyed the video um i really hope that it spoke to you as a person um, your understanding really uh, about where south africa as a country comes from uh, what people had to endure what people had to sacrifice uh, in order for us to be where we are today so i really do hope that you enjoyed the video uh, you can start applying some of the things and 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 you know and really uh, putting and, and really doing an introspection and a retrospection to say am i really you know contributing to where the country is moving today uh, and if not what can i do in order to you know to contribute uh, to a better south africa for all in actual fact so thank you so much for joining us uh, this has always been a pleasure to have you here uh, this is motivation reimagine thank you for joining <laughs>